On Christmas Eve many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. You know what kind of train this is? Huh? Of course. It's a magic train. We're going to the North Pole. Purple Shimer! Purple Shimer! Purple Shimers! Purple Shimers! <laughs> bah! I can't stand children. They're the only ones silly enough to believe in Santa. It's toys that make Christmas fun, not Santa. Well, they certainly won't believe in Santa if they never reach the North Pole. And they won't reach the North Pole if they don't have tickets for the Polar Express. <laughs> and they'll never find these tickets before the conductor throws them off the train. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I want all those Herpa Shimer's toys. I'm gonna ask Santa for all of them. Tickets, tickets please. I'll be coming back to check your tickets shortly. Make sure you have them ready. I've got my ticket right here. But I, I, I can't find my ticket. I never lose my ticket. I always keep it here, safe in my pocket. My ticket, it's gone. I, I lost, lost my ticket. I lost my ticket. If we don't find our tickets, we're all gonna get kicked off the train. It's standard procedure, you know? Everybody calm down. Now why don't you go and search for your tickets in the other train cars, and if the conductor comes by, we'll cover for you while you're gone. Okay! okay. They might not be able to find their tickets by themselves. Maybe one of us should go and help them. Okay. You stay here and keep an eye out for the conductor. I'll go and help find their tickets. Did you find your ticket? I'm afraid to go in there. It's dark and spooky. A jack in the box has my ticket and it won't give it back. Don't be afraid. If we go in there together, it won't be so scary. Do you know which jack in the box has your ticket? I, I don't know. I was so frightened. I nearly dropped my flashlight when I was looking around in there. Okay, here's the plan. You hold the flashlight and I'll check the jack in the boxes. Try to be brave. I don't like the dark much either. Uh, I'll try. Hey, why did you run off? I can't open the toys without you. It's too scary. I don't want to go back in there. I'm pretty sure I know which toy it's in. We'll find it in no time. Okay, I'll give it one more shot. Hey, did you see that? The boxes have switched places. Spooky. Now, which toys haven't we tried? You found it! You found my ticket! No, we found it together. I couldn't have done it without your help. But hurry back before the conductor starts looking for us. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, I came to help you look for your ticket. Obviously. I know where my ticket is. There's a gang of nasty puppets in there, and they've refused to give it back. I'm not afraid of some old puppets. I'll go in there and get your ticket back for you. I've come to get my friend's ticket back. If you want to stop me, you better do it now. What happened in here? Don't you know it's against railway regulations to throw objects inside the train cars? Well, they started it and was the only way I could get your ticket. By the way, here it is. Well, thanks for helping me get my ticket back. If I were you, I'd be getting out of here now before the cook finds out what you did with all that food. Good idea. I'm gonna go find the others and see if they found their tickets. We've got to help, it's an emergency. Please, you 
got to help me. I just saw Boy get left behind. He's running for the train, but it just won't stop. We've got to do something. Left behind? Are you sure? The only way we can stop the train is to pull the emergency brake. I saw one in that other car. The emergency brake? But if you pull that, the conductor might throw you off the train. Or worse, we all... We haven't got any time to lose. If we don't hurry, the boy will miss the train. <laughs> I'm afraid he's going to be left behind all alone on Christmas Eve. <laughs> You're going to have to get past me if you want to pull this emergency brick. And I don't believe that you can do it. Do you? <laughs> In the places, hold that cord. He did. But but he was just trying to stop the train so that kid could get on. Right. Now everybody, take your seats, please. Thank you. We still gotta find the rest of the tickets. You keep looking for the tickets and I'll distract the conductor. All right, you've got a deal. Hmm, I wonder where the other tickets are. <laughs> you look like a good sport. The ticket you're looking for is on the other side of this train car. If you can get the ball past me, then you can pass. Let's play! Shh! Be very quiet. The cook is very angry and he won't let anyone enter the kitchen. But I have to get inside because someone has hidden my ticket in there. Um, why is the cook angry? Someone messed up all the food he made. Now he's got to make more. Uh, yeah, that was me. But it wasn't really my fault. Those puppets started it. Don't worry, though. I'm going to sneak in there and get your ticket back. OK, just be careful. The cook is not in a good mood at all. Phew, that was close. He sure is in a bad mood. Here's your ticket. Oh, thank you. You're so brave. Duh, what a racket! We'll never hear you if you go through now. I'll rejoin the others. Hi, have you found your ticket yet? I'm so glad to see you here. I can't get past this train car. The door at the other end of the pantry is locked. Did you look for a key? I searched and I found it, but promise me you won't laugh. I won't laugh. Some horrible little mice ran off with it. I'm really scared of mice. <laughs> hey, you said you wouldn't laugh. I'm sorry. Well, how about I catch those mice for you and then we can search the next train car for your ticket. Okay, but I'll only come in once you've got the key. Hey! You'll never believe it, but those mice were only wind-up toys. You shouldn't be scared of toys. Toys? Well, still, I'm glad you found the key because now we can go and look for my ticket. Maybe it's in the next room. Okay, you better hurry. Let's go. Wait a minute! I think I see my ticket. It's there, frozen in a block of ice. We'll need something to break the ice apart. Use that ice smasher thing. An ice smasher? That sounds cool. I want to try that. OK. Well, just be careful. The floor is very slippery, and those blocks of ice look dangerous. Are you OK? Did you find my ticket? I sure did. 
Here you go. Thank you. There's one more boy up ahead. He must still be looking for his ticket. Don't worry. You head back with the others. I'll help him find his ticket, and the conductor will never suspect a thing. Hi! What are you doing all the way up here? I came up here to help you find your ticket. I fought puppets, dodged toys, smashed ice blocks, trapped mice, and even hit from an angry cook. Whoa! Now that's impressive! I hope you can help me. My ticket is locked in a suitcase in the next car. I found a key hanging by the door, but I can't get to the suitcase because there are these mean toys who... Let me guess. Those toys in there, they won't give you your ticket. That's right. They jump up and threaten me whenever I enter the room. You'll need these if you're going in there. Leave it to me. We are all going to the North Pole, and we need those tickets. Thanks for finding my ticket. I don't think we'll be having any more trouble from those toys. They'll stay shut for a long time. We should go back and join the others. Yep. We better get back before the conductor throws us off the train. Blasted boy, messing up my plans. Who does he think he is pushing us toys around like that? but I've still got a trick up my sleeve. Let's see what happens to the girl when she realizes she's lost her ticket. <laughs> They'll never find it here. We've all got something we'd like to say to you. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you for finding your ticket. Uh, that's okay. It was nothing really. Okay. Well, if it was nothing, we should probably all sit down and stop blocking the car. Railroad Regulation 74 forbids passengers from obstructing fire exits, you know. You're such a know-it-all. He's right about one thing, though. We should get back to our seats. I can hear the conductor coming. You have lost your ticket? She didn't lose her ticket. I did. You know what's gonna happen now, don't you? He's gonna throw her off the train. me off this train. That girl is depending on me. But I'm not going to let her down. Hello? Is there someone there? Is this something I can do for you? I'm looking for a, a girl. A <gasps> In fact, I am the king of the North Pole! You know, it's pretty dangerous up here, but I'm impressed that you managed to get this far. You're a regular hero, trying to give that girl her ticket back. But let me tell you, if you thought getting up here was hot, then you better prepare yourself for a shock. That was nothing, because frankly, there's no way you're going to make it if you stay on the roof. So it's hopeless then? There's one way to get that ticket back to the girl. Do you want to hear it? Ye yes. We got to jump off this here train and take a shortcut. Now look me in the eye. Do you believe that you can do this? I guess I can do it. I can do it. Okay. Take my hand. Draw a deep breath. On the count of three, we're gonna ski down the hill. You're gonna need to shift your weight to steer us clear of the rocks. One, two, three! What'd I say? 
jump! Shouldn't you do something? Um, I am doing something. This is what they told me to do. Are you sure? I don't know. Whatever the case, the train is slowing down. What's that sound coming from the engine? It's... Get back! It's sounding like something's gonna blow! This is terrible. We're the engineers. They've, they've got to help us. has been stopped. The office has been blown. The pressure's building. She's gonna explode. I gotta open these valves. I gotta lock this load. That heat's too intense. This train's gonna melt. You there, boy. Do you think you can help? What do you want me to do? Pitch parts as they blow. Watch out for the coal. Once you put on those gloves, then we're ready to roll. All right. I'm ready. Let's go! You did well there. We couldn't have done it without your help. We're not done yet, though. We need to fix the light so we can see our way forward. You did a great job back there. Yeah, you did too. I'm just worried about what the conductor will do when he realizes that I've stopped the train again. Don't worry about that. We can work it out if we stick together. Why in blazes have we stopped? You! I should have known. Young man, are you bound to determine that this train never reaches the North Pole? Oh! 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 All ahead, slow! Now that the track is clear, we need to get this train back on schedule. It's five minutes to midnight. We're cutting it awfully fine. Okay, we need to build up the steam pressure again and get this train moving. That's right. We gotta stoke the fire and build up the heat. We're only gonna make it if we all work, work together. together. Young man, you seem to have some skill at resolving these situations. Do you believe you have what it takes to get this train going again? He's shown that he's brave. We know that he's tough. Just gotta believe that he's got the right stuff. I'm gonna do it. Let's get this train moving. We're moving! Looks like we're gonna make it. We should be able to make up time if we keep working at it. Thanks for your help, young fella. We couldn't have done it without you. Young lady, there's still one matter outstanding, as you have failed to produce a valid ticket. Railway regulations specify that you must leave the train. Holy smokes, I forgot! I found your ticket. Thank you! This ticket appears to be valid. Uh-huh. Well, in that case, all right then. Time for us to head back. Thank you for finding my ticket. I really thought the conductor was going to throw me off the train. It was nothing. I'm just glad I got to blow that whistle. I always wanted to do that. Okay, let's head back. I should warn you, though, there are some nasty toys on this train. I've got a sneaking suspicion that there may be trouble ahead. Look at all these crates. How are we ever going to be able to get through here? What Guess was who? that? <laughs> Don't worry. It sounds like we have some company. Just keep your head down. I'll take care of these toys. Once the coast is clear, follow me across the train car. Okay. Be Guess careful. Brr, it's so cold in here. That icy floor really looks slippery. Oh, it's really slippery. Hey, look. There's a pair of ice boots. Hey, why didn't I get that the first time? If I put them on, I should be able to walk safely and make a path for you. Okay. If you push some boxes around, I'll be able to slide across and use the boxes to steady myself. Call me when you're ready. Ah! A mouse! I saw a mouse! Don't worry. They're only toy mice. 
but it looks like they've stolen the key to the door again. I'm quite good at catching them. You wait here, and I'll go get our key. What's that noise? I don't know, but it sounds pretty angry. What can it be? I think it's that nasty <laughs> toy who stole our tickets. It wants to stop us from getting to the North Pole. Well, I'm not gonna let a toy stop me from eating Santa Claus. How about you? No way. We've come so far. It's time to put this toy away for good. So you want to go to the North Pole, do you? Well, to get there, you'll have to get past me. And I don't believe you can do it. <laughs> You're just a bitter old toy. Christmas isn't about toys. It's about giving and sharing. Ah, there's no Christmas without toys. Christmas cannot happen without me. Let's see about that. Try jumping up and and me. Would you children care to join us in the dining car? It's time we had some refreshments. Attention, please. Would there be any Polar Express passengers requiring refreshment? Yes! That's what I thought. I'm gonna need your assistance, young man. As you can see, we have a lot of thirsty passengers, but we're short one waiter. I need you to help out and make sure that everyone gets a cup of hot chocolate. Do you think you can do that? Uh, I think so. I've never done it before. Trust me, I think you'll be a natural. I save this for you. Thank you. Extra marshmallows too. My favorite. Excuse me, sir. Yes, young lady, what can I do for you? I was wondering if I could take a cup to the boy who's all alone in the other train car. You mean the boy in the observation car? Yes. Certainly, but we'll have to be quick. Five minutes to midnight. We're almost at the North Pole. Two columns, if you please. No pushing, no pushing, but let's not... Excuse me. Question. What about him? No one is required to see Santa. Old hand. Come on! But please remain. What are we going to do? As long as we don't crash into anything, we should be all right. I bet you could use that wheel to steer the train car. Whoa! It works! Sort of. Okay, we have to be careful we don't lean too far, but at least we can avoid things on the track. Got it! One more thing, though. Where are we going? I'll tell you when we get there. Here we go! Underground. Hold on tight, everyone. I think we've arrived. Where have we arrived? We've reached the end of the track! <laughs> what the? The sleigh bell! Did you hear it? It's coming from that tunnel! And no! Just 
keep on top of it until we reach the end. You stowaways! Party's over! Um... Hi! But I... I... I just followed them! Don't worry about it. Look, we knew you were in there the entire time. It's great to have you on board. We have a slight problem, though. And I wonder if you would be kind enough to help. Sure. Of course. I'll try. If I help, does that mean I'll be the first to meet Santa? Now, is one of you good with handling vehicles? Because I need someone to steer the Zeppelin. I think I could help you, Captain. Fantastic! I need you to control the movement of the Zeppelin. Do you think you can do it? I got to help the other elves lighten the load. I'll do whatever I can to help. What do you need me to do? Oh, one more thing. Try to keep the Zeppelin from crashing into things. And make sure that Santa's sack of presents isn't damaged. Got it? Good. Aye, aye, sir. I'll give it my best efforts. All right. Good luck, young man. And remember, Santa. He's relying upon you. You understand? He is relying upon you. Well done, young man. I salute you. Thanks, but we're not quite there yet. Don't you worry. I'll take it from here. The disaster has been averted. Um, thank you. You should go enjoy your friends now. We're almost there. Hey, welcome back. You made it. You saved the day. Could you have made the ride any more bumpy? Look, we're almost there. All right, you stowaways. Dash away! Dash away! Oh! 